All right, fellow traders. See if you get my, uh, there you go. Looks like I got the camera working. Good to see you. Can everybody see me okay? Just want to do a quick, uh, make sure everybody can see loud and clear and can hear me. Just do one more, one more audio check before we start the recording. Perfect. All right, good. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Fausto Puglisi from Cybertrade University, and we are going to talk about price action and order flow. Um, I don't know if you guys have been here for the first time or several times, but let me tell you, we had a great, great day in trading. I want to talk about some of these quick stocks that we traded. I want to get right to the point, so listen very carefully. Uh, there were a couple of really nice movers today in today's markets, and want to kind of point them out to show you what we got going on here. So just hold on one second here, and we share some of these stocks. Uh, so here we go. All right. So anyway, there was a stock today that was moving really, really nicely, which was called XPEV. Okay. Now you could see here, um, if anybody here has been following us, I mean, I just posted on Instagram and on our YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys follow us. Uh, the staff here will basically put those links up there if you want to watch those quick little short videos. But the thing I want to point out is look at this stock right here. It went from $15. And then right around nine o'clock, it hovered right around 1750. And you see right here at 1750, it hit, it, it tested, it tested, it tested. And right at 930, this stock went from 1750 in less than 30 minutes, went all the way to $21. Now, let's look at this for a second. What would drive XPEV go from hovering here? and not going below 1730 to run up all the way to $21. Now, could anyone answer that question? Can anyone answer that question? Order flow, buyers, anyone else? Demand. Oh, so so what you're trying to tell me that it wasn't a moving average or an RSI or a Bollinger Band, you know, or a MACD. Okay, um, do I have enough here? Should I stop? How about that? We'll stop. You sure it wasn't any of these things? Okay. Well, you know what? If you said buyers demand, okay. Um, any of those things, you're in the right place because I'm going to show you something right here. All right. I'm going to bring this over here really quick. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And you'll notice right here, do you see this big red line right here in the bottom? You see that right there? Everybody see that? Okay. Do I still have, hold on, do I still have this up and running? Uh, no, okay. So everybody see that? Let me draw. Maybe I maybe I have to draw this line. Let me make it a little bit more obvious. Does everybody see this right here? Okay, that is a two hundred thousand share buyer. When it hit that two hundred thousand share buyer, it never wanted to break for about thirty minutes, and then look what ended up happening. It went all the way up, and it tested a new seller, and that new seller right there got executed. And that's why it ran all the way up to here. Now, listen, we're not here to talk about this right now. Uh, and we will as we move forward. But the big thing is this. If you go on my Instagram, okay, and you go on my YouTube channel and you watch the short, I did a video right around this time, a little bit past nine, look about 920. And I explained to you what was happening here. And this is why that stock went up. Now, let's think about this for a second. Let's do the simple math. And I'm going to ask a lot of questions, okay? And expect all of you guys to be able to answer them because if you don't, then you shouldn't be trading. If you bought the stock at $17 and you sold it, let's just say $18 and you had a thousand shares, how much money did you make? If you bought at 17, you sold it at 18, how many points did you make on that stock? How many points? David, Donna, Cindy, you're right. David, you're right. Manuel, I didn't hear from you. Hugh Morris, I didn't hear from you. Irene, I didn't hear from you. Oh, there you go. Irene said it. There you go. 
you made a thousand dollars. Now the stock went to 21. It went up another 19, 20, 20, three dollars more. You're talking a 20% move. How much minus fees? Yeah. How much do you think the fees are on that, Tom? How much are you paying a ticket charge? How much are you paying a pick ticket charge on that? Tom said you pay a thousand minus fees. How much are the fees? About nine dollars. Okay. So you made 900 okay, and um, $92, okay? I don't know where you make that money, all right? Now, who here wants to learn and know why that stock went up and went down? Because you can make $1,000 a day, do that every day, that's a quarter million dollar salary, right? Well, that's why you're here. That's why Cybertrain University, okay, has been, you know, has a probably one of the best reputations and is endorsed by every brokerage firm in the industry because what I'm about to show you, and that's why we've been in business for 30 years. So let's go right into it and let's move this out of the way and tell you a little bit about why we're here. But before we do that, quick little risk disclosure, okay? Um, I'm not going to make any guarantees that this happens all the time or it works for everybody. It varies student to student. Um, so, you know, once again, please be very, uh, you know, read our disclaimer and, you know, like I said, I'm not making any promises or whatever, but, you know, be very smart before you make your first trade. Okay. Now this is what we're going to cover, how to find the best stocks to trade. Like we found stocks like, you know, and I didn't even get through it, but there was XPED, there was NEO, there was Weight Watchers, there was IONQ. There was so many of them out there. We're going to talk about those. Um, we're going to cover basically you know, how do we use these level threes and level four tools? What you're about to see is you're going to realize that you've been trading backwards your whole life. And you know what? You're going to be like, you probably took courses from somebody and you would trade the totally opposite what you're doing. Now, how do I know that is what I'm going to show you right now. This is how I got started. Ford's Magazine wrote a big article about us, about a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. Now, I'm 52. This is me when I was 20 years old, 22 years old, big article, okay? Um, high tech, uh, you know, uh, markets uh, that own the NASDAQ market. So I was actually a market maker trader. That's what I was, all right? And by the way, if you don't know how old this magazine is, look at that monitor, right? Look at the back, look at the monitor in the back. So, and this was taken in 19, uh, this was in uh, 98, Okay. So I was one of those traders. I'm a 12-time champion at the money show. I beat every school I went up against. Half of them didn't even show up because they were afraid to lose. All right. So I'm not here to kind of brag that I'm the I'm the best and my traders are the best. What I'm looking for is this. The reason why I'm still here teaching is because I teach my traders eventually to learn on their own and start teaching other people. And there are other schools out there that are part of CTU. But the only way I'm, I'm as good as I am is the way I've learned to be a good trader is that you have to surround yourself with good traders. So what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for traders that I could teach how to make money to do this, okay? Because that's what I'm looking for. So if you're here to, to come and join a team, of traders that are very successful at it, you're in the right place. But to save your time, you could log out right now. If you're looking for somebody to tell you, could, could you just tell me what to buy and sell? I'm not the right person. If you're somebody looking for alert services, that's illegal. Then we're not the right person for you. But if you're looking here how to fish, if you ever read the Bible and it says, you know, feed a man to fish, you feed him for the day, but teach a man how to fish, you feed for life, then you're in the right place. So this is why Cyber Trading University, you know, has been endorsed and has been done presentations all the time. I'm actually going to be live tomorrow at the NASDAQ, okay, with Jill Marin Joan. Um, I'm, I'm a regular guest there. And the reason why they have me there, because they want you to learn how to trade today's markets by using their tools. Now, the same tools that you get to use now that would cost you literally $15 you could basically, I had to pay thousands of dollars at 22 years old. Now, let us let me ask everybody another question. If I could show you how to see about between 50 to 70% of where all those buyers and sellers are, how much smarter and better trading decisions would you make? All right, think about that for a second. How much better of a trader if you knew where the 200,000 share buyer was on that stock XPEV? And then knowing that it was, it didn't want to get past that, and that buyer bid it up. 
I mean, it's almost like the Ira, Ira says 90% better. Well, thank you very much for sharing that, you know, and actually I, I'll be happy to kind of copy and paste that and put that in the room um, from Ira. Okay. Now I also, what I'm going to do at the end of the presentation too, is that um, I'm the author of the book, How to Beat Market Makers on Own Game, because I was a market maker. A market maker is a brokerage firm trader, the trading department. Um, you can go to Amazon. You could buy it for $47, but I got something better for you. I'm going to give it to you for free today, okay? And, but you got to stick around to the end for about 30 minutes. That's it, 30 minutes. That's all I'm asking you. And then I will, I'm will. i going to give you my book because I feel like if, the more you can educate the public, the better everybody's going to do. And then the more people are going to basically want to go out there and, you know, you could do this as a career. Now, listen, this is my family. Okay. Uh, my lovely wife and married for about 25 years. Actually, it's our 25th anniversary. I got three wonderful boys and, you know, unfortunately, I'll meet girls. <laughs> but the thing is, the reason why, you know, I always feel um, to show you my family is because I'm a family man. I think one of the great things that kept my relationship with my family is being a first generation Italian. And my father always taught me, he says, listen, you want to have a good relationship. You want to have a good, uh, uh, you know, you want to have a good relationship with your kids. Um, you got to make money. You got to make money. Money makes things so much easier. It really does. Now, I know there's a lot of us here that are divorced. And let me tell you, you think marriage is expensive, try a divorce. Okay. That's what I was told. But I think that what happens if you know how to do something that you enjoy and love what to do, which I love to do, and it's cooking, it's gardening, it's fishing, you know what I mean? And by the way, I have a whole living channel. Um, we'll post a link if you guys want to watch, you know, our, my home living channel. Um, the, you know, that's what trading allows you to do. It gives you the freedom to do other things. This is not a full-time job. You don't got to be there every day. I mean, the market's open. I'm here now. Why would I even talk to you live now? Be like, well, why aren't you trading? Because I don't want to. We trade this morning. We made our money. Okay. But now I'm here to go out there and you know find you people out there that want to do it as a career because I need new traders every day because most traders are not there. They're probably there about 20%. So let's stop talking about me. Let's talk about you, okay? That's what it's all about. Why are we here, okay? We're here to learn how to make money, and we're here to go out there and, you know, learn how to stop making these mistakes. You got a lot of things that are coming on. You got the Fed rate coming out. You got earnings announcements today. I mean, you saw what happened with Google and Microsoft. Facebook is coming out with today. But, you know, you're having a huge, consistent rally in the market. Some of you, like, is it over? Is it going to continue? I mean, looking at the markets right now, I mean, it's been just phenomenal lately. Um, but is it too late to jump into them? Listen, there are so many stocks out there that you could trade. And you know what? You probably want to know is, how am I going to trade those 20,000 stocks? How do I know how to find a stock like XPEV, like NEO, like, you know, I, uh, Kava and uh, Revion, all these stocks are like, wait a minute. What about Tesla? What about Microsoft? Forget about those stocks. It's all about risking less with high reward. I'm going to teach you how to do it. So I'm not going to, I'm not here to sell you an alert service or anything else. I'm here to show you to go out there and knowing what makes these stocks move. Which one is going to give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward? So here, you know, here is what my team traded this week here at Cybertree University BBIG. Almost guarantee some of you never even heard of the stock before, but look at this stock. 930 goes from 350 all the way to six dollars in about an hour. I don't know, 100 percent cheap stock. Don't need to trade an option, could just trade that stock. Neo, big run up, 1090, up to 12 dollars. Hell, today it's already uh hit a high almost at 13. I mean, these are things that we traded, continue to go higher. Why is it going up? Who cares? I'm gonna tell you in about the next 10 minutes. DWAT. DWAC, what made that stock go from $16 to $26? Supply and demand, that's what drove it up. Okay. Now, do you, is that, by the way, just out of curiosity, anybody here trade options? Just give me a yes or no. Do you guys trade options? Bill, you do. Mike, you do. Anyone else? Irene, huge. Okay. Well, guess what? Look at these calls on Tesla. 
Okay, how are you going to know if Tesla is moving as an option? Because the thing is this, it's the movement of stock that makes an option move. You want to be a good options trader? You damn well got to learn how to trade the stock first. And that's why most people fail in options. And I think some of you here probably wondering, I don't understand. Like, how did I screw up on that option? Maybe, maybe I should have traded a different style option. It's not about the option, okay? It's about following the orders and knowing to be a good stock trader to know how to trade that option, how to do that swing trade. And it all comes down to this, following the money. So how do you know which stocks to trade really quick? Let's just talk about that. Let's start getting into the fun of it. Well, um, are any of you here following on my social media? Let's just post those links up there for everybody. Um, I got some instructors in here. I got Alex, John, you know, everyone here. Could you guys put those links there so everybody could just click on them and see those because uh, there we go. Thank you very much. We got those up there. All right. That is the last one that we just posted up there. All right. So this is what we do. Listen, I, I get a kick out of people that go out there and say, hey, you want us to show you what, what's moving in the market? Why are you going to be held hostage for someone to tell you and wait on your phone and be like, oh, is he is he there yet? Or did he, he didn't text me yet. He's fine. You need to know how to figure out on your own. All you need to do is get a big percentage gainers and losers list. Okay. Now, let me just show you all those stocks that we talked about. Let me just show you really quick, really here. Default. All those stocks we talked about. Okay. Right here. XPEV. XPEV right here is the biggest percentage gainer right here on the NASDAQ, on the New York Stock Exchange. Okay. Uh, Weight Watchers making a new high. Biggest percentage gainers on the, Na the NASDAQ. NEO. Okay. Where's NEO? Second biggest, most active stock on the New York Stock Exchange. Okay. All those stocks that you're looking at are, are basically right there. Revion. Okay. Where's Revion? Revion, is it up there? It's only up. Oh, it's only about 6%. Okay. But you don't want to get caught on a stock like, oh, this stock's up 78%. Why did you pick this one? Because it's not going anywhere. And I'm not going to go out there and trade and buy a $95 stock. Why would I buy a $95 stock when I could buy a $19 stock? Okay. Or buy a $13 stock. Or trade a stock like Tilray when it was at a buck 60 and went to $2 and it's a dollar 60. It's all about risk to reward. But don't worry about it. I got good news for you. At the end, I'm going to invite all of you guys to come into my trading room, which I'll show you right here. Here's our professional trading room. And you're going to see all these alerts up on top. By the way, this is uh, today. This is our traders. We did a poll today. I want to show you this. It's pretty cool. Um, 90, this is a poll that we did. 91% of our traders were up today. Only 3% were down. And look at the time right there. At 10 a.m. Let me just draw this so you guys can see a little bit better. This was done at 10 a.m. This is a result that we did a poll. How about that? And those are the traders right here. See that right there? Those are all our traders. And these are all our traders down at the bottom. Would you want to be part of that team? Or would you rather be part of a team that is sitting there sending you alerts and try to figure it out on your own? So let me just erase this really quick. And let's get into the fun part of it. So how do we do it? How does it work? Okay, well, it's all about supply and demand. Okay, and that's the big, that's part, and that's just getting partial the credit from it. So when it comes into it, you got to follow the big orders. That's what trades and moves these stocks up. Once again, how do I know that? Is because I was a market maker. I made the same dumb mistakes that a lot of you here made because I was sitting in my basement. I was ignorant. I didn't want to spend money. I said, what do I got to learn? First of all, back then, you couldn't even do it on your own. You had to get licensed to do it. But I went out there and I said, you know what? I, I keep seeing these people making money on TV. I have friends in my town. Their parents are driving these, these expensive cars. Their kids are doing well. What am I doing wrong? And they're doing right. And it's all about eventually bringing up that white flag and says, you know what? Let me see what they're doing. Thank God I had a connection to someone to say, hey, you know, Faust, if you want to learn how to trade, come to New York City 
and mm-hmm. let me introduce you to these people. And they did. And you know what they taught me something? It's called iceberg orders. Okay. Iceberg orders. I'm like, what the hell is an iceberg order? An iceberg order is a big block order. The same order I just showed you on that stock XPEV of 200,000 shares that made that stock run. And I don't know, I'll just show it to you again, just in case you forgot it. By the way, this is live. That big seller right here, if I got to spill it out again, and he was down here and I'm like, damn, what's that guy doing out there? And, and how did you get that data? Why can't I see that? Why, like, what, it do, what, what, what are you doing? What are you using? Well, that was a wake-up call. That was a wake-up call, just like everybody in here went out there and says, damn, you know what? That's a lot of money. That's a big move. I wish I was able to see that on all my, all my other stocks. And guess what? You can. And that's why we're here. We're here to learn how, why these things move the way they do. And it's all about big block iceberg orders. Okay. So we're going to cover two things, level three and level four. These are the two most important windows that on any part of your execution system that is, you know, that you need. And you know what? Just out of curiosity, because just like I do a poll in my trading room to show you exactly how well they did, I want to do a poll with you guys. Okay. And my poll is this. Um, do you have NASDAQ book viewer? Okay, you're probably going to see it come up right now. There's a poll. I'm going to do a poll really quick. Let's see how you guys answer this question. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to end the poll. All right, I'm going to share it with everybody. Okay, now look at the results. 72% of you say no. Some of you say not sure. So I'll just take that as a no. You know if you have it or you don't. Okay. You're talking almost 85% of you don't have NASDAQ Book Viewer. Now, let me explain to you what NASDAQ Book Viewer is. And let me tell you, that's why I'm going to be there live tomorrow. This is going to show you about 50% of the volume of the stock that you're in. When you trade, okay, you has anyone ever been to an auction before? Anyone ever been to an auction? Just give me a yes or no. You hear about these car auctions and where the dealers go to, okay? This is an auction. And you have a seat on the exchange to see where all Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, you know, uh, uh, every algorithm, every high-frequency trade, every institution, all their orders get funneled to the exchange. So you have a seat on the exchange. Now, remember... To do this when I started, you had to pay over a million dollars of a seat on New York Stock Exchange. Now you can get it for 15 bucks, okay? Now, I'll tell you where to get it um, in the next few moments, okay? But let me show you the value of it. Look at this stock right here, Tesla. Now, Tesla went from 278, went all the way down to, two, to, to 10, uh, 1045. And you notice here at 1045, it finally stopped around this $270, Went up to 220, 272, back down to 270, back up to 272, back down to 270. And finally went back up and says, you know what? Enough's enough. Now the stock's at 275, uh, 274. Why did it keep bouncing off that price at 270? Well, when you look over here, uh, hold on a second. I can't see my little crayons out here. If you look over here on the left-hand side, you see this big order right here? There are 2,000 orders out there, all right? 394,000 shares, okay? And you're talking roughly at 270. I don't know about you, but that looks like a lot of shares to me. Kind of makes sense why that stock bounced right here, okay? Big, 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 big block order, which we call iceberg orders. How much smarter and better trading decisions if you were patient and didn't buy the stock at 278 and waited all the way at 270 to see that stock to trend up. I mean, it's almost like, can it be that easy? Well, trading is not easy because the hardest part about trading is obviously, you know, the greed and the discipline. Let's look at another stock, AMC. Okay. Here's a stock that goes from 
$5.40, shoots up to $6.20, okay, in about a few hours, could have waited, you could have been patient, it could be good money, that's, that's a good profit right there. And all of a sudden decides, I don't want to go past 620. And then from 620, it goes back to 580. Now, why did it stop at 620? Look over here on the left-hand side. Look at all these sell orders, 600, 800, 1,000, 7,000. But then you get right around here, you got 59 orders between 598 and $6. That is the reason why it didn't want to go, okay? But that's not the resistance. I'm showing you the support, okay? Look at the, I mean, look what happened when we have a 10,000 share buyer out here, okay? Which is right around here. That's the reason why it went up. Not just the resistance, but the support. That's what changes everything. So let's look at another example. Let's go over a few more examples this week. Ever like own a stock? trending down you're like oh you ever heard the phrase i want to catch a falling knife well listen can a stock go from 15 to zero of course it could but you know what there's always people going to cover shorts so what do we need for a stock to stop we need buyers so here we're all looking at the bili and we're seeing a stock with a falling knife but when we get down to 15 and we start looking at all these orders the big substantial order out there of 33,000 shares of of 118 orders that make up that 33,000 is at 15. So without looking at any chart and any indicator, what do you think is going to happen when we get down to $15? What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, exactly. Probably I would say that's a support level, right? Okay. And look at the orders down here at 1523. Uh, All right. So 20,000 share buyer. This thing is bidding it up now. Now we went from 15, now we're at 15, 23. What's happening to the stock? Boom, right there. Look at those orders, how it went from 15 to 15, 20, how they bid it up. What do you think is going to happen next? Right back up to 15, 60. All because of these buyers out there. That is following the order. That's right. It takes off like, like a rocket, Joe. And you know what the difference between Tesla, Joe? And BILI, about, you know, $250,000 difference, almost three, close to $300,000. $300, a $290 stock versus $15, I'll trade 15 stock all day. At the end of the day, if I had to make $500 a day, make 50 cents on the thousand, I'd rather trade a $15 stock than a $300 stock. Let's go check out NEO. Here we have NEO, sell orders right here at no is that uh, 89,000 shares to so 26 okay so you look at all these orders 1190 12 dollars and 1201 4000 89000 6000 without even looking at a chart what do you think's going to happen well i don't know when i look at this chart it looks like it's going to make it's making new hires don't you say but how did i but when's enough's enough i mean this stock from 930 went from 1080 all the way to 12 dollars you know, but oh, but but I remember Neo. They're talking about it on TV. Got good earnings. Whatever it may be, the news might be. I don't care what people tell you. I don't know what you're reading. I don't care what indicator tells you. That's the reason why stocks going down. If you don't have a game plan and don't know where those orders are, those are the reasons why you're leaving too much money on on the table, or you're going out there and making these big mistakes. Now, if you want to find out more about how to get Nasdaq book viewer. Um, or you want to watch my, watch us on our show at NASDAQ, um, listen, take my email down. Or just take your phone because you're going to need it. All right. Does everybody have your cell phone with you? So take your cell phone, turn on your camera, and just take a picture of it. Save for later. Because I'm going to, because at the end, in about another few moments, I'm going to send you to another link. Um, there's going to be a QR code up there, and you're going to be able to um, register to come in that trading room too, okay? All right. Now, enough with level three, because that looked pretty cool, right? Let's go to level four. Level four is very unique. Level four is just not showing you the uh, current order book, which is what COB means, but now we're going to see it on a heat map. 
And not only that, but it's going to aggregate other exchanges like New York Stock Exchange, CBOE, you know, anything that's an exchange out there. So now you're going to see more orders out there. And not only that, but you're going to see how long he's been out there. And is he adding to his position? Is he, you know, taking away? So let's look, look at a couple of, uh, let's look at a stock that bounced off support. So here we're looking at a stock RTX, okay, trending down, going down. And $96, you're crapping in your pants. We're at 82. You're like, oh my God, do I take it? Do I get out of it? Well, let me show you what's going on right here. This stock started, comes, gets down to $82 and it tests a buyer of 30,000 shares. Now that might not sound a lot like the 200 and 300 we saw before, but you know what? Every stock is different. Some trade more volume than others. But at the end of the day, when you're talking 30,000, where the average traders out there is trading 1,000, you're talking 30 times more the average. Well, guess what happens when we get there? Stock hits that price, hits that support level at, at 82, and goes up to 85 in a matter of 1030, 1130, 12, two hours. That stock went up there. And not only that, but that buyer out there at 82 added to his position, okay? Now he's at, now you're talking, he added about another 40,000. And as he added to it, the stock went higher and higher and higher. Stock ran all the way to $85 a share. Now this was yesterday, a stock that we traded, RTX, okay? So this is not like something that I picked out of like last year and I'm cherry picking. This is a stock that we traded. Um, you could get into the cyber group room, they'll talk about it. So let's talk about um, let's talk about another stock. All right. But oh, by the way, the point I want to get to this one, the chart doesn't tell you. I mean, the indicator will never tell you that, but those orders will. Let's go see a stock that reverses from resistance. So here we have a stock that's going up NEO. Now we're talking about a 270,000 share sell at $12. So the stock is right now trading about 11, uh, 1130, 43. It's up about 11.79. We know this order's been out there since 10, 10 o'clock this morning. We're in town at 11. Here's a bigger screenshot over here on the right. And then, but when you're looking at a chart, once again, you don't know that. You don't know that that seller's out there. Other than you seeing, oh, you know, stock's going higher. You're cheering it on. You know, everything is great. But boom, you get to 12. What do you do? That stock hit it and came right back down. So now you can convert a winner into a loser. I want to ask everyone an honest question, and nobody's going to pick on anybody here. Has that ever happened to every, anyone? Did you ever go out there and you convert a winner into a loser? You know, go out there and look at a stock and be like, you know what? Damn, I should have, I should have sold it sooner than later. Sherry, happened to you? Who's going to admit that? Cindy says all the time. Cindy, don't you want to stop? And, and, and Cindy, and actually, let me, let, me, let me do another poll. I want to do another poll here. Um, who trained you? Um, basically, are you self-taught? You know, um, are you self-taught? Did you, did you, you know, did you learn? Thank you very much. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Severe. That's what I want to hear. I'm self-taught. I, I was self-taught too. I was self-taught too. And you know what? Until I actually said, you know what? I, before I go out there, let me go hear what everyone else has to, has to say. And and sh sh um, Sheila, just to answer your question, and Larry, you know, um, there are a lot of other schools out there. And I always recommend everybody do this. You should go out there and buy a little bit of everyone else's stuff. Don't spend a lot. You know, you get into their room, learn a little bit from them, listen to the traders in the room. Because remember, this whole this whole thing, just to let you know, I am only as good as the traders I train that we trade together. This is not the Fausto show. This is not the Josh, the Nick, the John, the Alex, the Rick show, all my instructors at Cyber Trade University. We don't tell you what to buy and sell. We we make you we 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 show you where to look. Because you, at the end of the day, have to hit that button because you got to know how to play that game. Because if you don't, you don't want to be stuck and test these big iceberg orders out there and wondering, oh, my God, I'm stuck into this trade. I bought it. Do I hold on to it? Now, now I'm stuck from 10.30, 11, 
one, two, and it's not going anywhere and you can't get out of it because what happens when it's, when, when that happens, that's how you get yourself in trouble. Um, well, listen, Sheila, you know, um, listen, and, and Sherry and, and Cindy and, and Larry, listen, if, 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 if you probably wouldn't be here if it did work for you. And I'm not here to bash all the people out there. Listen, there are some good, there are some good educators, but like anything else, there are some very bad actors out there also. And they're in any industry. Hell, I just got to, I went to, uh, you know, I had to go, my, 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 uh, my car is out of warranty and, you know, and, and, you know, I own it and I'm trying to trade it in to get the new one. Right. You know how many dealers I had to go through and how many were trying to scam me? I had one dealer. Okay. That want to buy my car and offer me about 20%, 30% less, a reputable company, 30% less than the other person did. So what do I do? If I didn't know that, okay, I wouldn't have, I, I would have been like everybody else, like, okay, you know what I mean? Okay, whatever. But you got to do your homework. You really do. You know, if you really want to, because remember, when you're in, you got to really, you got to be in. So let me talk about a couple of the stocks. Let's talk about a stock like APLD. Let me continue with this because we're running out of time here. Um, because I gotta get ready for another, I gotta get I got I got another event that's coming up with another um uh, doing a big speaking event with uh, another uh, uh uh expo company. So let's look at this stock. APLD, 77,000 share seller. This guy's been here from 940. It's already been 20 minutes. He's been out there all day. You know, he's at seven uh at, at 76,000 shares. Now, in theory. What do you think we should do at when we get close to 10, everybody? What should we do at $10? Should we hold on to it or should we sell it? Rick says sell. Sell, 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 sell. You know what? If you said sell, congratulations. Lewis, you're right. Everyone, you all, absolutely. You know, that's a nice, you know what? Nine dollars minus ten dollars is a pretty nice little profit with a very small amount of stock, okay? But this is what I want to show you. Can we get past ten dollars? I mean, is that even possible? Well, look what happened here. The stock here's ten dollars. This is where we were looking at, okay? This is that order right there. He got that green ball, someone actually bought it. Someone actually bought it and said, I'll take it. And sure enough, what do you think would happen? Stock went up, went all the way to 1020. Okay. Now, let me explain to you a little bit about, let me get back to my car theory that happened when you sell my car. Maybe that dealer didn't need that car. That's why he lowballed me. But the other dealer said, shoot, I got a buyer for that car. He came in yesterday. Damn well, I'm going to pay you more money for that car because he's going to make he's going to sell it to someone for more money. So, what do they say? There's an ask for a receipt, right? Well, in this situation, you might think it's not worth it, and everybody else wants to sell it, but someone says, "I'll take it" because I got a client that wants to buy it, and that's why the stock went from that ten dollars all the way up to ten seventy. Do you ever hear the phrase "breakout stock that does a breakout"? That's a breakout. Okay, not bad. And, and and now, just out of curiosity, did anyone ever was taught this stuff? Did anyone ever teach you how to read the future and follow orders? Just want to know. No, no. Lynn said no. I, some of you said you took online trading academy, invest tools. You know, you took all the took some options classes. Not before I took CTU. There you go. I like that one. I want to copy and paste that one. That's a nice one. Thanks a lot, Cindy. I appreciate that one. That's a good one. Yeah, they just, basically, they just talk about crystal balls, right? <laughs> there you go. Now, how much smarter and better trading decisions would you make? For first of all, do you guys like trading? Do you guys like do you guys like trading? Of course you do. Even when you lose, you're like, you, you listen, the only reason why you're here is because you know there's a better way. Love it. It's a blast, Rick is saying. I love that one. I'll copy and paste that one in there. He loves it. There you go. Love it. Even when you lose money, you can still love it. Listen, anyone follow sports? 
I mean, I am a, unfortunately a diehard die hard Jet fan. If you guys follow football and I ever hear people say, oh, my condolences. You've been having won a Super Bowl in 50 years, really praying now we got Aaron Rodgers that we probably can go to the promised land this time. But you know what? As bad as they always been, do I stop paying my season tickets? You know what I mean? Do I absolutely go out there and like, you know, do, I mean, like we, we there's hope. And you know what? Just because you own a team, they're like, ah, my team sucks. I'm leaving. You know what I mean? Like you from a Long Island. I, so you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like training's the same thing. There's just, you know, there's a better way. You just haven't got there and you're not quitting. And that's why you're here. So getting back to some of the stocks, let me just show you some of the stocks that, that moved today. Okay. So look at, um, here's a, let me look at a couple of stocks. Let me show you what I had over here. So, uh, what do we have getting back to that XPEV. Okay. Now, what's what, what what happened here is look what happened where the sellers started showing up when we got around $20 a share, 20, 21. Now the sellers started showing up, but there was no sellers from 17 all the way up to about $20. Then the sellers, you could start seeing them show up 60,000, 90,000, 70,000. These are sellers. Okay. And that's why the stock peaked out and started going down. Um, here's Nikola. Here's another big winner. Stocks had a decent run. Now look at the sellers, 300,000, 300,000, 200,000. Look at the sellers start showing up. Do we have one on Tilray? Yeah, a couple of them. Yeah. Big seller right here showed up for about 300,000 shares. Stock went from $1.80 once it got to about right around $2, to, uh, 210. Big sellers showed up. Now the stock went back down. I mean, they're there all day. They're there all day. And that's what we're looking to do. I want to invite all of you guys to come and see this live in the trading room and show you how we're like showcasing platforms and setting them up. Because listen, a lot of you here don't take this the wrong way. You don't know if you really qualify to trade yet. Everybody wants to try it first. And, you know, the worst the worst thing I ever had someone ever tell me, and they say, you know what? Let me try it. If I like it, then I'll go learn how to do it. That's the worst thing you could do. Because if you got into a stock, and uh, let me give you one of them. Let me show you this one. This was a pretty bad one. PACW. This is yesterday. Imagine owning a stock. And then own it at $10, $10.40. And then also news comes out, the stock goes all the way down to $7.60. And you heard the news on, it's really bad. You sell it at $7.60, lose all that money to find out it goes right back up to your $10.60 again. You don't think that could happen? Well, it did yesterday. And a lot of people got crushed. And you know what? If you watch the orders... And you do something what we call the KISS method, keep it super simple and not get all crazy. We're like, I got to trade the options because of the leverage. Oh, I got to uh, go out there and use the MACD because, you know, Mr. Fibonacci told me or the Bollinger Band because he's a very good speaker. They're all mathematicians. They're not traders. But I I'm going to prove my case to you. And you know what? I'm sorry. I don't have a picture on it, but I had one in the past. I should have had it before. Where do you think the best traders are? Turn on your financial stations, CNBC, for example. They're broadcasting live on the New York Stock Exchange. They're obviously got to be the best and because they wouldn't be down there if they were. Look at, the, look at their screens. You tell me how many charts you see on those indicators, okay? How many do you see? Zero. But then all of a sudden, you see all these orders. They're like, wow, look at all those numbers. This guy's walking with an iPad. Some of us have four or five monitors. They're working on an iPad. They're like, what was he doing? How could he watch all those charts and indicators? I can't even see them on four monitors. They got it on a little iPad. They're looking at orders. That's what they're looking at. And how do I know that? Because I was one of them. And I'm here to stop people like you from losing money and learning to trade stocks with nice trends, nice pushes, knowing what's moving in industries, because this is not going to help you. This looks pretty, it sounds smart, but it's not going to make you money. All it's going to do is confuse you. So you got to learn before you could earn. 
That's what trading is all about. Look at this trade. Look at this. Look at this photograph right here. Look at all what you see back here. What are those? Those are orders. Okay. Those are orders. Not here when you see all these faces. Okay. What 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 what, what do they look like? They're looking at. Uh, I don't know. Look at this guy. What does he look like? He's doing. I don't know. He looks lost. Look at these people. They see they they're excited because they're just following orders. Who do you want to be? These people? Or you want to be these people? So it's time to take the opportunity because I want to invite all of you to see what it's like to trade because it's time to learn before you can earn. And that's the beauty about trading. So this is why Cyber Trade University, and by the way, you probably will never, you could attend as many webinars as you want. You will never, ever, ever, ever see anybody could say they're endorsed by NASDAQ, Metastock, Charles Schwab, Tasty Trade, Bookmap, uh, Thinkorswim, Trade Station. This is just to name a few. Few. I I've done presentations for all of them. And not only that, you will never probably see someone have close to a five point uh, rating on Google, okay? Or a AAA rating at the Better Business Bureau. And you know why? Sometimes you could do all the searches you want. And by the way, I'm not going to hear, I'm not here to bash anybody. But if you took training by someone, go out there and say, um, XYZ Google review. And if it doesn't come up, because they took it down, that's how bad it is. And, and you as a business, I don't know if anyone owns a business, you could actually take your Google rating down. And the only reason why they took it down is because they're too embarrassed to show the bad negatives on it. Why do you think there are bad negatives on it? Because what they what they teach is not obviously probably working or they're just out there just to charge you a zillion dollars and you know maybe like some other college out there just to get your money. But I, we don't do that. We're looking to recruit traders, okay? Because that's how you learn how to trade. So I want to invite every single one of you to come into the trading room and show you that we're here to teach you other than sell you some product or pro a program that they're just going to sell you another one and another one and another one and another one. And, you know, and you don't want to get caught in that. But if you were there and you say, you know what? I heard you, Fausto. This makes sense. Well, this is what I want you to do. I want you to come in my trading room. I want you to see how we do live broadcasts, audio broadcast in the morning, in the afternoon and show you where the best times to trade and the worst times to trade and just making a career out of it. Now, not only that, but have good, you know, real gurus in the industry who are very good at it and, you know, learn how to trade Forex or futures or options or like what I like to do is day trade or just swing trade. Just make my days pay and call it a day and be in cash. So before we get into ask, answering any questions and move forward, this is what I want to do. Um, does everybody have their phone? Everybody have their phone? Okay. So this is what you do. You could type that web address right there, ctu.co, not .com, co forward slash trial. Or turn on your phone, turn the camera on, and scan that QR code, and you'll be able to get registered you know, right now and get to see everything that we talked about what I showed you live in the market, everything. Now, this is what you're going to get, okay? This is everything you're going to get. It is, um, let me just see right here. Let me bring up, I want to see if it's working, the QR code. I'm going to go there. Oh, yeah, it does work. I'm going to try it myself. So I'm clicking on it. You can see right here, it's coming up. And, you know, basically you get one week access. Oh, my God, it's only $9? $9. Nine dollars to learn all that stuff. Oh my god, we were here for less than an hour. I'm gonna get a week for nine dollars. Oh, and it's also money back guaranteed. Why would I even do that? What do I need the nine dollars? Let me tell you something. I don't need your nine dollars, okay? And I don't need to charge you after a week. What I'm looking for is somebody that is serious that wants to learn how to do this. And not only that, I'm gonna give you a bunch of good stuff. I'm gonna give you workshops, I'm gonna give you a trader's library. Um, and not only that, as a bonus, I'm going to even do this. I'm going to give you my book, like I told you, $47 value. And I'm also going to do this. If you uh, of the first 20 people that register right now, I will even do give you a coaching class. Think about this for a second. How many of you here 
How many of you here right now have ever spoken to the owner? And anyone ever do that? Probably not. Probably not, right? So I am, because listen, right now what you're doing is you're interviewing me. And then after coming into the room, you're probably gonna be so hot and heavy, you wanna do this, but I need to interview you next. And I'm gonna go take the time to, 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 to talk to you and see if like, listen, let me see if you're the right person. So this $9 is basically an application fee to be a trader at Cyber Trade University. That's basically what it comes down to it. But the reason why I'm asking for $9 is because I don't know who you are. Dennis, I don't know who you are. Cindy, I don't know who you are. Ira, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from. I don't know if you're a competitor. I don't know if you're a heckler. I don't know if you're here to steal our ideas. But if you're really serious, I think we all could afford $9, okay? And that's where it comes down to it. Um, if you can't afford $9, then you shouldn't be trading. And by the way, think of where you've been when you first came in here. How much you've learned in the matter of the few minutes of the stocks that I showed you, okay? And made it could have made that in a blink of an eye. So this is what basically what, what I'm looking to do. Get your phone, scan it. Let's get into the trading room. Let's get, do some walkthroughs. Let me, let me get, get you on the phone with my staff. Let's kind of teach you the lingo of trading and let's get those appointments going. So let's see if this is something for you or not. Because let me tell you, you know, trading, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to lose everything. It is a huge failure rate, huge failure rate. And if you learn from someone else, that's okay. You know what? I learned from someone else the hard way. And sometimes it takes us to make those mistakes to learn, you know, who, you know, who did it. Listen, how many of you here could honestly say you married your first love? Okay. How many of you could say, you, you, you know, I mean, like I only know one or two people that it basically did, but sometimes it takes, you got to do your homework. How many of you went out there and said, I fell in love with this car. It's the first car I ever sold is the one I bought. Is that the only car you bought? No, eventually you're like, ah, you know, I have to drive and it's not really for me. That's it. That's right. Money back guarantee. You know what? I don't, like I said, I'll need your $9, but I'm just looking for serious traders. All right. Now, a couple of questions that came across here. So um, what happens after the trial membership? People ask. Well, the thing is this. When we have that conversation, We'll see if we'll see if you're if if this is for you or not. But we're not going to charge you. We're not going to hit you with some hidden fees. Listen, what do you, you could do more damage to a company than anyone else. I don't need the scrutiny. Okay, I'm just looking for traders I could trade. You want to move forward with us? You be a trader, of ours. If you don't, that's okay. Okay. Now, do you do trade? Uh, do you do swing trading, option trading? Yes, we do. Okay, we actually cover that. But you got to know what happens over the course of the day to make that into a swing trade or an options trade. How much money do you need to start? That is a fabulous question. Excellent question. Nine dollars. That's it. Nine stinking dollars is all you need to get started, you know, here at CTU. OK, now, anyone else have any other questions? Now, listen, I'm seeing a lot of people are registering right now. Um, first of all, admit. I got your registrations from Tennessee. Welcome aboard. Uh, Stuart, got your registration from uh, Massachusetts. Just reading them all. Rick, I see I got registration right here. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Rick Man uh, Manning from Idaho. Uh, Moscow, Idaho. Is that right? I was thinking of Moscow, Russia for a second. Uh, there we go. So anyway, as you guys are registering, there's going to be a questionnaire for you guys to fill out. Um, five basic questions. No, let us know, you know, who you're trading with. If you ever took training before, and if you have like level level three quotes, kind of lets us know a little bit more about who you are. And also, um, the more you let us know about you, the better we could help you, you know, uh, to set you up for your future in the trading community. Think about it. Everything that you saw here that people showed you is the totally opposite what you ever taught. You know that there was something out there that someone didn't tell you. You know that there is someone out there that always there's a buyer and a seller. And I just showed you how to look in front of the car, not look at the rearview mirror, which most people teach, because those that works great, but it's a lagger. And laggers lose. You need to learn how to be a leader. So for nine dollars, 
go out there, make that investment and pop in there. Now, listen, I'm actually kind of shocked. We have almost 100 people in here. I expect over 100 of you should be registering right now. Basically, there's some of you, a lot of you are students of mine. But what do you have to lose? All it takes is that $9 and you're going to get all this stuff, including my book and the money back guarantee. A um, couple of people just got a registration. Uh, Pavel just got your registration. Uh, who else we got in here? Kathy got your registration from New York. Welcome aboard. Just reading over here. We just got a couple of people here registered. I see some of you guys still registering. All right. By the way, if you're having any issues, um, you could always call us. You know, our number is there up on the screen. Uh, you can, or you could click on that trial. You can call us. You can put the link up there. Was it 877-70-CYBER? You know, if some of you are maybe driving and want to call, can't do it, just could kind of just call us up too. All right. Any other questions? Um, if overseas, with the time zone difference, any recording? Um, well, listen, we got people from all over the world. Everything we do is going to be recorded. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Everything is going to be recorded. Absolutely. So, and not only that, but you don't got to be there all day. You could be there for one day. You know what I mean? Like, listen, that's why you could trade the morning, you could trade the, the afternoon, depending if you're West Coast, if you're East Coast, if you're Central the country. There's always a time when to trade. Absolutely. All right. Any other questions? Yep. So like I said, if, you, if you're skeptical and you still want to talk to us, there's our number on the screen. You can give us a call. All right. Um, when can I start is a good question. So I probably would recommend you do your walkthrough with your education advisor. And you should be able to basically be able to talk to your educate. You know, um, you would start on Monday. You know what I mean? Get ready. Get ready. But honestly, I would start today. I don't know. I mean, it's fresh in your mind. You know, one of the better days to trade is Wednesdays and Thursdays. Fridays when people start, you know, it's a weekend. People start going away. And then and and that's when people go away. So things start slowing down. So Mondays and Fridays are kind of slow, but Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays are great. Now, listen, I got to go, everybody. So anyone have any other questions? Registering? I don't know what you're waiting for, but this is your chance. You want to know how to follow the money? You love this job? I saw a lot of people saying they love this business. Well, if you want to learn from a New York trader, you want to learn how to trade like a Wall Street market maker, you want to be able to see me tomorrow live at the NASDAQ talking about NASDAQ book beware, here is your chance. Register now. Nine dollars, you got nothing to lose. Okay. All right. So with that said, um if everybody just basically, if you didn't register, listen, maybe you want to still do your homework. I get it. You know, I would recommend watch our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, you know, follow us on our Twitter, whatever it is. You know, you'll see uh, there's gonna be a lot of content for doing this for 30 years, but we're live every morning. And if you're just not ready yet, you're still a little skeptical. I get it. Okay. But I'm just warning everybody here. You got to learn before you could earn. And just because you took a course with another person, what a lot of people here uh, just told me, listen, you know what? You had a bad marriage. Divorce is not the end of the world. I know they're expensive. I know you have kids in place, but I know people that were very, a lot more happier. You know, eventually they married the wrong person. It's been a long time and they moved on. Trading is the same thing. You know what? You got that lemon of a car. You got that house, the first house you bought and find out everything that's wrong with it. You know, you could change. But this is not an expensive investment, all right? But you got to learn before you could earn. So with that said, everyone, thank you very much for listening. Look forward to teaching all of you. Don't forget to give us a call if you have any other questions. And I look forward to seeing you at other upcoming events. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Happy trading and be safe. I'll see you all in the trading room.